Hi, my name is Jussi Roine, and I will be doing a talk on SharePoint 2016 architecture and deployment at the European SharePoint conference in November. My session will be on Tuesday, the 15th of November from 11.45 to 12.45. I'm based in Helsinki, Finland, and I work as a CTO at a company called Onsite Helsinki. I've been a Microsoft MVP for three years now, and before becoming an MVP, I also completed the Microsoft Certified Master Training. I've been working with SharePoint since 2001, from the very first versions, all the way up to SharePoint 2016. You can also find me on Twitter. Feel free to tweet me if you have any questions on SharePoint in general, or if you have any asks for my upcoming session at ESPC on any specific topics. For my session, the target audience is architects and IT professionals. For developers with operational responsibilities, I plan on having content as well. I also have content for people who just need SharePoint up and running without having an intricate knowledge on all the best practices on how SharePoint should be deployed and configured. There's three benefits for attending my session. First, you learn the best deployment approaches for SharePoint 2016, as well as the differences for deploying SharePoint 2016 from 2013. Second, you learn how to design and deploy highly available SharePoint 2016 solutions. Third, you learn how to configure SharePoint 2016 as well as SharePoint 2013 to support hybrid deployments. Included in the presentation, I plan on having the updated mineral considerations, as well as the deployment best practices for deploying SharePoint 2016, and most of the guidance also applies to SharePoint 2013. The new zero downtime patching will be included, as well as the general guidance on how should you deploy patches for SharePoint farms. Some migration guidance will be included, and also discussion on whether you should be using the AutoSP installer tools or should you be creating your own custom scripts. In addition, I have performance tips and guidance for high availability topologies, as well as other recommended SharePoint topologies. Lastly, the Windows Server 2016 data deduplication together with SharePoint 2016 will be covered and also the updated boundaries and limits guidance for SharePoint 2016 production use. So with this, I hope to see many of you in Vienna in November for the European SharePoint conference. Thank you.